Hey there, Aquarius. This is your career and finance reading. Oh, this one wants to pop. Let's take it. Prince of Summer. Okay. So we're starting out with Prince of Summer. Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy. We have the frog. So this is a deeply emotional and probably romantic experience will sweep you off your feet. Things can move very quickly during such whirlwind encounters. So stay balanced and make decisions with both your heart and your intellect. Okay, so that would be Scorpio Cancer Pisces. It'll be like the Knight of Cups. And we'll have here, there's a change, there's a transition. Something's going on here. Wow. Let me get the Knight of Cups. All righty. And then we have... But something with that, you know, this is, um, this will also be that maybe at this time too, that you can be very creative, persuasive, besides what this says on this card here. So yeah, there could be a time that you're very charming, persuasive, um, or this could be someone coming in for you. And then we have here, renewal. So this would be like the judgment. It's time to get clarity about your life purpose and make changes so that you're on the path most divinely suited for you forgive what has been without judgment and fiercely embrace what's to come okay so that sounds pretty good and then we have seven of summers main coon kitten it's time to stop procrastinating and make a decision so that you can so you can move forward with a priority. If you need to do more research, then do so. But don't overthink the situation. Listen to your heart. So there's some kind of decision you have to make here. With the Judgment card here, the Prince of Summer, and the Seven of Summer. Hmm. Option, choices, decisions. You're definitely trying to make a decision. It could be about a person coming in. But it also could be... Something that you love, something that you want to do here. Okay, let's clarify. Why is the princess somewhere here? Why is the princess somewhere here? Okay, we have seven of cups again. You have options. Looks like you have a lot of options coming in to do with your business decision choices. Which way are you going? What about the renewal? Why is a renewal here? Ace of Swords. Okay. So with the Ace of Swords, this is like brainstorming, really thinking things over, really looking things over. You might be cutting out things. Look at that. This person has a book open and they have a globe. There might be something about something global here or it could be something that you're trying to figure out a distance, trying to figure out if it's uh, feasible for you to do something here making a judgment call on something looking at your books looking at the, um, the globe here there's some significant here you could be cutting out things that don't make sense to you speaking your truth though what about the um, seven of summers why is the seven of summers here and we have here the six of swords yeah, you could be moving away from something. Move away from a more st a stressful situation to something better. My, all these options might be confusing you. You might be saying, but you know, none of them fit. It, I almost feel like if you're saying that, it's, none of it seems right for me at this time. Okay, let's see here. What can we do to move forward? Nine of Summer. So this would be Nine of Cups. So Pomegranate Dog. Um, now's the time when your dreams come true. Don't worry about how this will happen. Just give gratitude to God for all that you have and all that is still yet to come. So yeah, so be grateful and you'll get more to be grateful about. Okay, and then we have... Justice is going to be served here. Elephant, this will be Libra energy. Okay, so fair decisions will be made after all evidence is reviewed impartially. Have compassion for others and try to see all sides of a disagreement. Okay. 
And then we have Ten of Winter. So this would be Ten of Swords. So you're ending something here. Siberian Husky Dog. The end of a career path project or relationship brings feelings of mixed joy and sadness, relief and disappointment. Put aside your fears about your change about these changes and trust that a brighter future awaits yeah so you're probably making a decision that is going to be the fear fears for you it's going to make you happy and it might be that you have to end something here okay so let's see why is the nine of summers here for you why is the nine of summers here two of pentacles okay so you you're balancing things out. You maybe have a couple of choices here. You're trying. You maybe you have to be very adaptable. You know you have different things going on at this time. Uh, multitasking. But I almost feels like because you got the nine cups, you're happy at doing this. What about the justice card? Okay, judgment, justice, judgment. Yeah, you're making a decision here. Trying to decide on something. It's going to be fair, whatever it is. This is taking a second look at something. It could be a wake-up call, too. Yeah, you have to make a decision. And I, and your decision might be to end something, whatever this is here. For you. I mean, of course, it's not going to be for everyone. This is a general reading, but let's see here. We have here the star. Okay, your hopes and wishes and dreams are coming true here, whatever this is. Aquarius energy is your energy. So the star, that's beautiful. So something turning out for the best. You're on the right path. This is, Whatever this is, is a very good decision, whatever you're ending here. Okay, now, let's see. How can you be more financially successful? Two of Summers. Ooh, so this is Two of Cups. Lovebirds. Okay, made to partner up with someone here. So a partnership might help if, you want, if you're thinking about it. Let's see here. Could be in love, could be in business. Okay, it's a choice too, a decision. You're falling in love or experiencing a deepening of emotions at your current relationship. Marriages or romantic partnership is... In distress can still be saved. Don't give up. So I would say also a partnership in business. If you feel like something's, if you are in a partnership and it's a little tough, this is saying, okay, this can still work. So whether this is your love life affecting your business, your career, or whether this is your par business partnership, it could still work. Okay, the chariot. Okay, the Arabian horse. So this is, you can successfully balance Various or opposing energies at once thought, termination, and focus. And once, wait, okay, I, I'm having a hard time reading these cards today. Okay, so um, you can successfully balance various or opposing energies at once through determination and focus. You earn the rewards and recognition you're receiving. So something coming in here quick. It might be a partnership opportunity for partnership then we have the five of springs so here we have the ram now of course this is some kind of conflict here um so it's so occasionally you may experience clashes with others if you decide the matter is worth your energy then do what you can to minimize the conflict without sacrificing your goals or beliefs okay so partnership come okay so for some of you you might have to clear up a, something in a partnership is willing it's going to work and you might have to go through maybe just having a conversation discussing this you know and seeing where you're at it's, it's kind of we have twos all the way here we have two lovebirds two of the raving horses and two of the rams definitely feel a strong partnership here okay so what about the two of summer the wheel oh i like this so things are turning here wheel of fortune Destiny. I almost feel like you're destined to be in this connection. Could be a love connection. Could be a business connection. Could be both. I mean, even your personal life does affect your business, too. So, let's see about this um, chariot. Why is a chariot here? 
And we have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, so with the King of Swords, this is also, you know, speak your truth. This is someone that's very educated, very smart. You know, use your noggin here. So whatever you have to decide here, you could also be dealing with a, a King of Swords, which is another Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Could be who you partner up. You could be partner up with another air sign. But this is very, a very strong intelligent. This someone is very swift but fair. And we have a bike here, maybe taking a trip, going going somewhere. So the bike I would take is some kind of travel, some kind of um, movement here. And, of course, it's on the chariot. So there's definitely something changing or moving or something coming towards you. You're going towards something here. King of Swords. Let's see. Okay, what about this Five of Spring? What's going on with that? The Empress, Yes. So you're coming into financial abundance. This could be Libra Taurus, but this I would say that you have a lot of competition because you are achieving success here. This is destined for you. So this is maybe you're starting your own business or whatever you're doing here. This definitely is speaking volumes about financial abundance. You know, you have the power to create whatever you need to create here. You're very creative at this time. You could be giving birth to a whole new project, a whole new business, a whole new career. Whatever it is, there's going to be competition, but you're going to succeed at this. Okay, so now, where or what do you need to improve? So we have Ace of Spring. Oh, passion, desire. Here we have the White Tiger. So this is a wonderful new opportunity that presents itself. It may have come as a surprise, but you'll still want to leap into action and passionately pursue every possibility. So you are going to have an opportunity come in here. And this is, um, with, with the Ace of Wands, it's um, new ideas. It's, you know, pursuing whatever you want here. This is um, so, some kind of inspiration coming in for you. Ace of Spring, Ace of Wands. Okay. And we have the Seven of Spring. So with the Seven of Spring, it's Gecko. And we have here, Be assertive. Believe in yourself and don't let anyone take away your personal power. Trust that your inner guidance is true and follow it completely. Yeah, trust your intuition more than anything else. Seven of Spring. This is like a Seven of Wands. You are, I feel like, feel like you're achieving something above others. That you're really standing out. You're getting the recognition. And others might not be too happy about this. But this is. Um, you got to stand your ground. So where do you need to improve it? It's probably just stay the course. Stand your ground. You know. This is your opportunity here. And we have the magician. Yes. The unicorn. So we have here. There's magic in the air. You can manifest everything you need. To be successful. Yes. So this is saying you have all the tools you need. To manifest whatever you want here. You have the Ace of Spring. You have the Magician. You have the Empress. This is awesome. I mean, this is a time for you to shine. You have you have what it takes. Okay, now let's see. Why is the Ace of Spring here? Let's clarify that. Why is the Ace of Spring here? The Four of Wands. Whoa. Look at this. There's a lot of twos. I mean, we have two of the... Um, of course with the four of wands this is like a commitment so being committed to whatever you're trying to start here this is a brand new start to be committed to this this is a partnership that's coming in could be a love partnership too i mean we are working on the career and finance but love does come in at that time it feels like when things are going right they're going right so yeah with the four of wands this is um this is deals partnerships you know it's um Committed to a goal with someone here. Great time. What about the seven of spring? Let's see. Eight of cups. Or nine of cups, sorry. Nine of cups. I'm going to say that didn't look like the case. Nine, nine of cups. Your hopes and wishes and dreams are coming true. You are achieving what you want to achieve here. This is your wishes being granted. Now, this could be a dream job or, you know, achieving what you want to achieve. You definitely can do it. The cards are saying it's all over these cards. Are, this is Wheel of Fortune, Empress. Yeah, you are achieving something big here. 
this is not small this is big and then we have here the ten of pentacles look a lot of money coming in i mean this this is big 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 a commitment you're manifesting you're manifesting some big bucks here money 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 i see money in your future <laughs> okay now let's see what or whom is the obstacle you need to overcome let's see what's going on with that okay i can't okay I want to move this over a little bit. Let me just, I'm going to be up a little bit, but that's okay. Just because I want to get, you know, I don't know if that's going to make that much difference over there. I want more room for when I put things on the side here. See over here. I felt a little crowded over here. All right. So that's better. A little crooked, but it's better. So I need room on both sides. Oops. Knocking cards over now. Okay, what or whom is the obstacle you need to overcome? Five of winter. So this would be a five of swords. And we got the collie dogs here. So it says, your current path isn't leading you towards the happiest possible outcome. So why not change it? Always maintain integrity and compassion, but be alert of the hidden agendas of others. Okay, so yeah, to avoid someone's other, so other people's agendas or what they're trying to pull here. Because the Five of Swords is the card of poor leadership or some bullying behavior or some kind of workplace conflict. So you have to get out of that energy there. And we have Four of Autumn. So that would be, the Four of Autumn is, um, Pentacles, yeah. So th this is like maybe keeping things to yourself here. With the, okay, we, so we have the squirrel. So be cautious about living a life of extreme or seeing things in black and white terms. Consider that, for example, whether you are spending too much versus hoarding your wealth or giving too much emotionally versus building walls to keep people. I feel like you have to keep something out here. You have to keep things quiet here. You can't let you can't let people in especially if you're dealing with this conflict you're not going to tell them um everything you're doing here that'd be crazy and then we have here ace of summers okay so the ace of summer is something new coming in for you the aces are always new opportunities this is um a lucky break here a fulfilling position doing something that you love okay but what does it say here we have here this is a beginning of a new emotional experience for you. It may be the first blush of romance, romantic love and rebirth, or a current relationship, or the awakening of spiritual gifts and insights. This could, be, I think this is a love for a new job. It also could be a love for a person coming in. But this is, um, almost feels like too that, okay, you're focusing on your work. You're focusing on what you have to do here. You might also have some new opportunity coming in in love. And that might be a little bit of an obstacle for you because you're trying to focus on your work. So, <laughs> you know, when it rains, it pours. Let's see here. Why do we have the five of winter? Let's clarify the five of winter. Okay, so we have justice. Okay, so justice will come in here. So these people that are trying to deceive you, they're going to get some of their own karma. Look at that. Justice is going to be served. They're getting it big time. So whoever, so obstacles, conflict, wherever someone's trying to bully mentality, they're going to get it back. Libra energy. Okay, what about the four of autumn? We have here temperance. Yeah, you're going to balance things out. Things are going to work out in your favor. I, I like this card. It, it seems like you're going to overcome whatever this is. That um, Just be patient. And you're going to be in a more relaxed atmosphere when you make a change, a shift, or something here. Something's good, or maybe these people that are being bullies or or whatever, maybe they're going to get fired. But whatever it is, you're you're going to be in a better atmosphere here. And what about the Ace of Summers? Let's see about this Ace of Summers. We have the Magician again. You are manifesting this. I love it. So you can manifest whatever you need here. You have all the tools. This is you manifesting your your wealth, your desires. It's all within reach. You can do this. And what all the other cards are saying you are. Money's coming in for you. Definitely. Big time. Okay, so what is coming in in their future for Aquarius? Let's see. We have the seven autumn. So this is the cow. 
planning, resources, efforts, you're invested in your dream will reap great rewards. In the meantime, have patience and meditate on your next steps. Yeah, so this is saying things are coming in for you. Just have patience. I mean, we are going through a work direct phase, so things are taking a little longer. Things are getting a little messed up here, but that's okay. Ace of Autumn. Wow. Ace of Pentacles. I love this. Look at these aces. Wow. Okay, so Calico Cat. You can expect a windfall of abundance such as money, timely assistance, a serendipitous meeting, or rewarding advice. You may be offered a fabulous new job or promotion or the prospect of a profitable business, venture, or investment. Nice. And then we have Prince of Autumn. Wow, look at all these pentacles. So this is the Prince of Autumn, which would be like the Knight of Pentacles. Trustworthy, dedicated, protective, funny. Seahorse, it's important to make a detailed plan before starting any new endeavor. Once you have that plan in place, then you can take immediate action and get as much accomplished as possible so this is saying this is going to be a good time just you know make sure you pay attention to what you're doing here look things over but everything's coming into play for you looks good okay now let's see why do we have the seven of autumn here let's clarify the seven of autumn did i, I didn't skip any other. okay i gotta put a charm on that okay we have the strength card yeah this is saying that you're very strong here whatever you're doing here is coming into play this is good leadership with the strength card it's um you have the power you have whatever you need to take your strong leader your flex your skills own your power this is coming in for you leo energy what about the ace of autumn why is the ace of autumn here okay we have the six of cups so something from the past could be coming back. The Six of Cups could also refer to, you know, some kind of childhood dreams or maybe even working with the youth. But you're, this is also saying maybe you're getting rewarded for your past efforts. Something coming back in. Or it could be a person from the past come back in. It could be a person you worked with before or worked for before. Come back around with an offer. Because um, we do have the Ace of Autumn, so it could be an offer here. Something that maybe, you know... You, you did before or a person you would before let's see prince of autumn we need a charm on this we have the unicorn oh the one of a kind unique this person coming in is very unique if it's someone coming in towards you or it could be your energy so let's see prince of autumn prince of pentacles let's see. okay now we'll clarify this prince of autumn Whoa, eight of wands. Okay, things are going to happen fast. Things are going to start moving for you. It feels like things are really going to take off. I would say your money is going to be doing really well. Things are shifting. Things are changing. you got a couple energies around here that, you know, you have to watch out for. They're very jealous of your accomplishments of what you're achieving here. But a lot of back and forth communication could be with this Prince of Autumn. You know, going back and forth, back and forth. Also, it could be just you're very busy. Or you could be busy with this person or this also could be your energy, but things are taking off. Okay, so now let's see. What? Whom? Wait, what or whom is helping you? That's our next one. What or whom is helping you? Ooh, we have the world. The Shetland Sheepdog. Congratulations and on successfully accomplishing what you set out to do. You made it through the challenges and incorporate the lessons life offers you with grace and courage so this is saying that what's helping you is that you you pass your test you pass whatever you had to pass here you've completed a cycle to start something new here now and then we have prince of spring okay so this would be like the um knight of wands passionate charismatic confident restless okay we have the dolphin here an opportunity arises that needs some attention right away moving quickly is important yet there's nothing you can't handle if you follow your inner guidance so this is saying some new opportunities coming in could be um, an aries leo sagittarius coming towards you the um prince of wands here but we have here peacock okay be proud very attractive here peacocks are very good looking and they're also you know get a lot of attention this could be your energy too this could be helping you that you're you're a peacock people are noticing you okay 
Let's do the Knight of Wands. Get another card here. We have the Three of Autumn. Okay. So we have Three of Pentacles. It would be Miniature Poodle Dog. Your most satisfying and profitable career comes from following your passions, listening to your heart, and doing what brings you joy. Your life purpose is best fulfilled by allowing your talents and true self to shine through and into the world. Okay, that's what's saying. You're, you know, something's completed, something's ending, and now all the work and all you had to go through, now you're getting notice for all that you did is showing. Okay, let's see. About the world card. Why is the world card? See, a little crowded with these bigger cards, but it's okay. The world card. We have the devil here. Someone feeling trapped. Okay. I don't know if this is, because this is what or whom is helping you. It almost feels like someone trapped the devil. This is someone that could be drinking. Someone might feel trapped. I don't feel like this is your energy. So I would say that someone put a lid on something. Someone stopped something. Someone um, con is has more of a control over something. Maybe that's one of the things that you ended. Maybe you ended a connection with someone that... Um, was a heavy drinker or someone that was had an addiction of some sort because this is what it, whom is helping you so i would say that's what way that goes what about this prince of spring we have here the chariot things are going to move ahead quickly here cancer energy things are taking off but get ready because <laughs> things are going to take off you and money's coming in and your life is going to not be the same here what about the three of autumn we have the hangman <laughs> just to take off this it's like you know okay now you been, might have to wait for something too but you're going to gain a perspective if you if there's a little bit you're going 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 things are happening you're, you're getting acknowledged here you might have to take a little bit of a break here and just wait for something but it's needed pisces energy okay to gain a better perspective on what's really going on here for you. Okay, now for your potential outcome. Let's see what we have here for the potential outcome. We have here six of autumn. Yes. So Kiwi, your success and prosperity have allowed you to pay off debts acquire wise loans to receive a grant or scholarship in return for heaven's blessings, be sure to share the wealth with others through donations or time or money or repo char charities here. Yeah, so you're going to be able to share your wealth because you're you're going to have enough to share. So let's see. We have your Queen of Winter, which would be um, the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Experience, self-sufficient, brilliant, funny, leopard. All your life experience have appeared prepared you for this moment of truth it's time to declutter your home clear away situations that aren't working for you anymore and disengage from people who create more drama than happiness yes you know cut out those people that are causing uh, a lot of unnecessary trouble here and we have here seven of winter okay till so magpie caution will help you avoid the less the loss of valuables, including non-material resources such as time or your peace of mind. Be aware of the results of your actions as well as what others might be doing behind your back. This is saying cutting out these people here. This is the people that are deceiving you. They are stealing from you. They are lying to you. They are somehow disrupting your energy here. And you don't need them in your life. I mean, if they're causing all this chaos, you know, it's time. To, this is like shady dealings or criminal behavior or some kind of suspicious activities you know get rid of these people okay the bottom deck we have here the king of autumn nice so this would be the king of pentacles compassionate accomplished charismatic grounded this could be you or this could be someone coming in for you gypsy gypsy banner horse everything is going to turn out great projects will be stunningly successful Exciting new career opportunities are possible and money or resources that come your way will be invested wisely. Wow. Love it. Let's get a um, charm on this King of Autumn. We have here. Oh, look at the lucky period too. We have the four leaf clover. So yeah, you're coming to a very lucky time. I love this reading for you guys. So let's see. The King of Pentacles. Okay, now let's clarify. The Six of Autumn. Why is the Six of Autumn here for Aquarius? We have here the Nine of Swords. This was something you were worried about or stressing over. 
well you know this is all panning out so whatever you worry about put your worries aside no longer need to worry and what about this queen of winter we have the queen of swords again this is the same card this look at this this is saying justice being served look at the background here we have this queen is just going about her business and these people are hanging in the background i would say these are the people that you know try to do you wrong which is what you're taking care of you're walking away from them you're leaving them hanging i'm not saying that they're going to be you know hung but you're going to leave them hanging because you know they weren't there for you oh i gotta do um the charms do a queen winter here we have a hot air balloon it's seeing things at new heights or different perspective or going to new heights i almost feel like you're achieving new heights you're going beyond what you ever thought was possible and then we have here the angels your ain't the guys the angels are guiding you here so we need two queens of swords so i can remember to put the words on them okay now what about this seven of winter Let's see what's going on with this seven of winter The King of Wands, wow, passion, desire. I love the King of Wands. Yes, yeah, so the King of Wands is um, a mentor, or it could be you could be a mentor. Some of this experience is very motivational, very charming, very attractive here, the King of Wands. This could be coming in for you. <clears throat> or this, um, this has something to do with the Seven of Winter. Maybe this person is helping you remove these people that are not good for you. Because this person is experienced. They know how to take care of things. Okay. So we have here a paw print. Okay. So it has something about an animal. Maybe the person has an animal. The paw print might mean something to you. A dog lover maybe. Okay. Let's see. The King of Wands. Bottom of the deck. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Yes. So you're reevaluating things. You're really looking things over. You know, it might be considered options. There's something about, you know, you're you're pushing through. You're holding your own. You're you're defending yourself. You're, oh, seven, I'm saying seven of pentacles. I'm, I'm thinking about seven of wands. Seven of pentacles. Yeah, looking th things over, um, reevaluating. Um, you might be changing your plans or or reassessing your goals, but there's something. That you're reconsidering. You might be reconsidering someone. Maybe this King of Wands is someone that you had in the past. And you're reconsidering having them back in your life. Because they're here to help you. They want to help you. Okay. So now let's see what the word is. What's the word for this Knight of Cups? What's the scoop on this Knight of Cups? Okay. So we have here. Committed. Memories career okay so this could be you committed to something in your career there's a lot of memories here or um could be someone coming in that is wants to be committed to you and memory i don't even know this person in your past um where you worked before and your career before or for some of you it could be someone coming in that has nothing to do with your career so only take you know the words that they resonate just take the parts that resonate and leave the parts that don't let's do the knight of wands over here so i don't forget about them what's the scoop on this knight of wands we have here mature return reveal oh so this knight of wands might be someone that has matured maybe you knew them more of as a player or something and they might maybe maybe not they're, re they're going to return. They're going to reveal something. They are in your whom or what is helping you. So they're here to help you. So they're going to come in to help. Okay, now what about the King of Swords? What's the scoop on this King of Swords? Now this could be your energy or someone else's. Let's see. We have here sharing. Friend or friends forget. So, and this is the, the movement card. This is someone's moving... And this is someone that's very intelligent. So maybe sharing something with friends or friends that maybe they forgot something. If this makes sense to you, you'll know. If it's not, that's not for you. Okay, let's go right over to this King of Pentacles. We have here a tower. Airy Scorpio energy. Surprise apology from a lover. Ooh, so this King of Pentacles looks like 
they're coming in as a lover that wants to apologize and they're going to surprise you okay what about this knight of pentacles break up another tower wow airy scorpio energy so later it's going to be a breakup or there could be a breakup that surprises you later or yeah someone could be there's some kind of surprise break. now this person could be with someone maybe they're breaking up with someone or maybe this is someone you're with and you're breaking up with them or they're breaking up with you you know only take if it resonates what about the queen of swords let's do the first queen of swords got two queen of swords here so we have contact I'll do it this way committed married okay someone wants to get married here okay what about the other queen of swords now i'm taking that as your energy so i don't know admitted cheater meeting okay so someone might want to meet up with you and admit that they cheated but they want to get married hmm. i don't know again only take if it resonates with you what about this king of swords i mean I, sorry i want a king of swords king of wands money insult future so someone might somehow insult someone about money in the future let me get a clarifier on the money we have for the money we have a fistful of money maybe someone's offering someone money for helping them they're insulted by it because they want to do it out of their kindness of heart because if this is someone's interest in you romantically maybe you offer them money and they get insulted i don't know take it if it resonates maybe maybe it does maybe it doesn't okay so now let's see what signs we could be dealing with what are the signs here for aquarius libra cancer sagittarius Gemini, Gemini, and Scorpio. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. Look at that. We um we don't have the we have two air signs. We don't have Aquarius here. All right, so we have Libra, Cancer, Sagittarius, Gemini, Gemini, and Scorpio. Now let's see what letters want to come up for initials. This could be initials, first name, last name past present future people also your own initials let's see we have h f r q p k i k i kiki k wow that's weird v okay so the letters we have here today are H F R Q P K I K I K V. All right. Now let's see what names want to come up. What are the names here for Aquarius? What are the names? Let's see. Okay. We have Pip P I P. Katina, K-A-T-I-N-A, -A. Diane, Vigio, V-I-G-G-O, Sabim, S-A-B-E-E-N, Leon, L-E-O-N, Ariello, A-R-I-E-L-L-A, Johnny, Shayla, S-H-A-Y-L-A, Conrad, K O. N R A D and Nancy. Okay, there's eleven there. So those are the names. Now remember, these are general readings, are not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. If it does not resonate, check out your other placements. Go ahead, check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. They might resonate with you more at this time. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all like, share, subscribe, comments, donations. Um, 
Super thanks. I really appreciate all that, guys. Thank you so much. And um, I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.